Hiya, so today we'll be talking about the game Undertale, uh, specifically the Switch version. That's the one that I've played. Uh, I've never played this game uh, until this week, so this is going to be some of my thoughts on it and uh, yeah, what I thought about it. So in this game, a kid uh, climbs up a mountain and falls through a hole, pretty much leaving them into the world where the monsters live and it's the story of them trying to get back home and depending on your decisions you can either fight or befriend the monsters it's a pretty neat concept i think that works out in this game and it definitely does affect the story and how uh you get to know the characters that you encounter Again, prior to uh, this week, I had never played Undertale before, so I had no idea what this game was. The only thing I was aware of was the comparisons to games like Earthbound and Mother 3. The gameplay is pretty similar to other uh, traditional old-school RPG games. Uh, it's turn-based, and uh, you can do things like talk to NPCs, uh, interact with the environment, pick up items. Uh, there are battles, usually random encounters. Uh, the dialogue can change depending on what decisions you make and what actions you take in the game. Also, you can equip items, uh, buy things, uh, usually weapons or things to heal you. And you can also talk to the people who uh, sell the items and get hints or more of the story. There's also lots of puzzles in this game. Some of them are kind of confusing, like this one with the arrows and the steam. Well, some are kind of simple. The battle system is again pretty much traditional turn-based uh, fighting, you know, you pick whether attack or act uh, items, there, but in this game there's a mercy button that lets you spare enemies or flee. Uh, in this game you can either kill enemies, run from them, or spare them. Uh, depending what you do will affect the story, especially depending on the type of run you do whether it be a pacifist, or genocide, or neutral. Um, it does affect the story though, for sure. Some of the outcomes uh, are really funny or cool, but then other ones uh, are a little bit... What the flying fuck? I didn't... Why did it do so much fucking damage? I don't get it. Uh, what the f- This is a game that I actually really enjoyed. Uh, some parts were a little confusing, yeah, and kind of hard. But I did like the characters and the music especially. The music was really good. I do recommend this game if you're someone who likes, uh, you know, RPGs or maybe some of the old school classic R JRPGs. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. Good story, music, characters, I really enjoyed it a lot. Apparently the uh, creator, uh, Toby Fox, is working on another game uh, called Deltarune. I believe only uh, the first chapter of the game is out, so that's probably something that I'll look into playing soon. Yeah, so uh, I'd say def definitely give uh, this game Undertale give it a look if you haven't played it yet. It's pretty good. Uh, I played the Switch version, I haven't played the PC or the other versions yet, but I did enjoy the Switch version though. I know a lot of people told me that the PC one was the one that they played initially, but yeah, uh, whichever version you prefer to play, I'd say uh, go ahead, check it out. 
because yeah uh thanks for watching uh it's my first i guess re review on anything in a while but yeah thanks for watching bye bye